This is question number 17. In part A, we're asked to complete the table of values for y is equal to x cubed minus 4x. The question carries two marks. This is a calculator paper, so I can set this up on a calculator. If it wasn't, I'd simply work through the values. So if I was working through, I could write when x is equal to minus 3, y would be equal to minus 3, which we need to cube, minus 4 lots of minus 3. So this is doing it manually. Minus 3 cubed is minus 27. Then we'd have plus 12. And that's going to give us that y is equal to minus 15. So if this was non-calculator, we would take this approach. You may even spot a pattern with this which you might want to follow. I suggest putting it for a calculator so you don't make any errors. So let's just go ahead. We've got minus 3. We cube the bracket then we're going to subtract to a 4 lots of minus 3. We will see this gives us the minus 15 I've just calculated. If we now go ahead and just write that in, we can fill out the rest of the table. So this is going to give me minus 15. If we now look at the next one, that's going to be minus 2, so I'm just going to switch over. You can, of course, continue with the same approach as I did just here. It's entirely up to you. That's going to give me 0, and again, you might see the pattern arise in here. Okay, we're now going to do positive 1. So if you want to do it either on paper, in your head, or in the calculator, you can do. As we're not going to be given marks for our workings, that's going to give us minus 3. So minus 3. And then finally, with positive 2, we're going to just sub this in positive 2 and positive 2. And that is going to give us, as you would expect, 0. OK, so let's go ahead and put this in. And that's done for two marks. It says, in part B on the grid, draw the graph of y is equal to x cubed minus 4x from x equals minus 3 to x is equal to positive 3. The question carries two marks. So let's go ahead and do that. So when x is equal to minus 3, y is equal to minus 15. So x is minus 3, y is equal to minus 15. That's just there. When x is equal to minus 2, y is equal to 0. So minus 2 comma 0 is just here. When x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to 3. So minus 1, 3 is here. We've got the origin, which is 0, 0. We've got 1 comma minus 3. So when x is 1, y is minus 3, which is about there. We've got when x is 2, y is 0. And then when we've got x equal to 3, we've got y equal to 15. So let's go ahead and put this. OK, when we sketch this, this is a curve. It's not a collection of straight lines. We come up from our point minus 3, minus 15 to minus 2, comma 0. Then we curve round through this point here, through the origin like so. We come down to this point just here. We turn round up to now 2, comma 0, and then we draw nice sweeping curve up to this point. Remember, this is a sketch. You're not doing any crazy plotting. It's just now on here a sketch. Don't do any more values. This looks perfectly fine. And if you want, you can just go ahead and write y is equal to x cubed minus 4x. So that's part B done for two marks. This should be the shape rather than lots of different uh, line segments and we will then be awarded all the marks. So lots of different approaches with that question. Um, entirely up to you on how you want to do the first part, uh, but it's a calculator question, therefore use it if you're unsure.